Hello. <laughs> <laughs> Wonderful, Eden. Mm. We're gonna leave you in control of the mm -mm. keyboard. Mm -mm. Yes, because you're a fast typer. <laughs> no, I'm not. Yes, you are. So the first thing we need to search for is probably a compiler, right? Uh, or an IDE, what an, do they call an, it? An interpreter. Interpreter, you see, that's what we need you for. Ah. So we're gonna type in uh, brain. Back Beep. In <laughs> I was I gonna do that to you. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> interpreter, I, is that how you spell it? Mm -hmm. Also, before we continue with this video, before so the point of this uh, video is to create a program in the popular language called BrainFuck, which uh, even has specified to be an esoteric language, which means, what does it mean even? So it's not a language that's supposed to be, like, that has a, a general purpose for development. It's more, it's supposed to be something funny or difficult to use. There's supposed to be some kind of catch. Coincidentally, BrainFuck is Turing complete, which means technically we can do anything with it. With that being said, we're first gonna try to make a Hello World program, so let's read documentation. <laughs> <laughs> so I believe Wikipedia has something uh, where we can see all the commands. Look, we have links here on this special place. Mm. Oh, if we can do it in Python, that'd be great. Import BrainFuck, blah, 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 blah. Let's do it in Python. That's so much easier. So we're yeah, gonna go... It, it doesn't matter what you no, no, the, no, no, the, the reason it's easier <laughs> is because we can actually see what's on the screen when we output the sure. video. Anyway, here we're gonna type in pip install and we need to import BrainFuck. And it's successfully downloaded, which means we can now test out our program. And then we're just going to print bf dot... I guess I messed something up already. No, no, you do bf evaluate input, right? Yeah, yeah but it's not giving me the... Uh, oh. <laughs> val... Yeah, it's not giving me anything. But you never know with these programs. Mm. <laughs> oh no! Wait, this is some ancient <laughs> shit. I think someone, uh, someone rigged it. Yeah, you just downloaded a virus. You think so? <laughs> Let's run the program. <laughs> I didn't spell evaluate oh. right, did I? Then we're gonna try this other... from... brainfuck... import... stuff. Oh! Okay. I don't think that works. As... yeah. There's a very small chance this will work. And let's go ahead and click on run. All right, so we're gonna try this one. And if this one works, we are set to go. Otherwise we'll fall for a events backup plan, which is just go back online hmm. and use something online. I don't know what you're talking about anymore. Let's say uh, converted code <clears throat> is going to equal. You know how it is to be a programmer at Code Palace? I hope uh, everyone watching this understands that I'm not better than anyone who's watching. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah, anyway, let's go back online because uh, my whole plan failed. And, uh, oh, raw program. What do you think? You think this could Is work? that a function called fuck? Yes. That's a function called fuck. Do you think it could I need to make It's his raw program. I, I need to make something that has a function called fuck. It works! Okay. Hell yeah! But it didn't like the second part of it. Why would the function for evaluation be called fuck? That's interesting. <laughs> Do you know what I understand now? I think. <laughs> <laughs> I, there we go. Mm -hmm. For some reason, creating a variable of brainfuck.fuck with the input outputs it automatically. So in the end, what I'm doing wrong is creating a variable at all because it oh. outputs it. Okay. Essentially, what I created was a variable. Uh, yeah, yeah. What I created was a variable of the print statement. I didn't know you can do that kind of thing. Mm -hmm. So now, if we just click on run, we have the program that works down here. How long have you been working at Code Palace for? Uh, even I don't know. <laughs> Negative minutes count. <laughs> yeah. So far, you didn't really uh, provide any solutions. <laughs> no, I'm only, just sitting here. Only criticisms. I'm here. I'm I'm along for the ride. What do you see? I don't understand what you see. <laughs> like. <laughs> I'm looking at the output. Don't you see the numbers? <laughs> <laughs> I don't understand. <laughs> wow, that's interesting. Yeah, sure. So tell me, what does this line say? <laughs> if you're so great, huh? No, no, no I'm just trusting <laughs> it here. I'm just trusting it. <laughs> so this triangle outputs a triangle. Then we have this Elvis operator. I hate that you're calling <laughs> your I don't know what you mean by that. <laughs> I, don't, I have no idea what you mean by that. And it compiles. Yes. Are you surprised? No. <laughs> Do you think it could all be written on one line if you wanted? Yeah. It should be, right? Yeah, of course. Do you agree with what I did? Uh, no. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Not at all. <laughs> so, I think we have to start with... Tell me what to type, remember. So, 
we all we start with looking at zero and I'm, I want to enter a loop because I don't want to put like 65 pluses but we could put 65 plus let's, let's, if we want yeah so I think can you, you just know, do uh, I think in Python if you want to I should show you. you you'll like this a lot so we're going to type in uh, pluses that you think is what two s's right no I've never seen this word in my life so what we're going to do is create a new one and we're going to call it plus i oh which is the plural and that's going to equal the string of plus you're going to like this one times 65 mm -hmm. isn't that pretty cool yeah and then sure. we can also okay but we also have to format this string yes <laughs> so we'll do f i think it's like that yes. it's been a long time since i tried this whoa and then we can add plus i plus i yeah and then i think we have to add a dot right yes and then we'll click on plus whoa i told you <laughs> booyah and that was a good high five as well <laughs> there you go so, so you see with the <clears throat> combination of python and brainfuck it's terrible. I guess we should have used just... This looks awful. <laughs> what don't you like about it? As an esoteric language, mm -hmm. we start at the index of zero. I think we always do. I think that's implied. Uh, there's, but a, also there's, a, there's a language you don't, and it's really annoying. I can't remember which one it was. I can't Wait, remember. aren't there some... Uh, I read somewhere that some arrays or some libraries in Python are one indexed, right? Also in Java, for Android development, they, for the month calendar, they start the index. Oh, yes, the, the months, right? The months for are... Some, I don't the, understand. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Maybe you can enlighten me. No. <laughs> I just I, I couldn't understand. I, I, I yeah, I, I remember that. I remember that from my like first semester of school days. They, we, they just decided. Yes, they just, just decided because uh, date times are not hard enough apparently. So <laughs> So this is the first line executed which gives us an age. Yes. Uh wait wait. It, let's try it. No 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 wait. <laughs> it's an age. Wait. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's an H at the uh, fourth index. Yeah, we've learned the commands now because there's only eight of them. <laughs> I, okay, fair enough. <laughs> right, right. We haven't used the comma yet. No, no, no. And it's not it's even okay. in this program. No, because it's just print. And we increment oh, seven times. If you and do you know what's interesting? Let's uh, let's write it down on the keyboard. So now we have seven. Yeah. And two dots, which means we execute the same command twice. Right. That is so neat, huh? Yes. <laughs> so that's your hello. So that's your hell. hell. <laughs> this whole video is hell. <laughs> okay. Dot. And then we print. And let's see what happens. Will it be a W? Nah, you messed up. Close. So, so it's more. It's 15. Isn't it? No, it's uh, 13. Wow. Nope. I'm guessing. <laughs> it. But it's close because it's next to V. So it has to be. There it is. It was the next. <laughs> it was 15. Nice. Uh, and then we move But again. it's a capital W, by the way. Yeah. Do not uh, forget. And then increment. Whoa. And then... <laughs> <laughs> I think we failed. Yeah, a little bit, right? I, I forgot to decrement the... <laughs> Oh, you forgot, forgot to dot it, huh? It's like Boom. Uh, it's like adding a semicolon for each yeah. character. <laughs> yeah. And that's the whole program. Just in case everyone's wondering, we're using an ASCII key. Oh table. yeah. So this is something we need to do when we're converting from numbers to letters. And so so far we got to the point that this is a so, while loop. Yes. Yeah, so, so the first part. So what is does the first part do? Oh, I'm sorry. Okay. So here's here's the very first part of the program. At our zeroth index, uh, we contain the iterator value for this loop. Right. So this is the number of times that we're gonna go through this loop. Perfect. That's all it is. Yeah. Inside the loop, so for every iteration, we obviously have to move to the next byte because we're using our first byte, our zeroth byte, yeah. for the iterator. Yeah. So it's gonna hold the value for some letter, okay? Let's, let's keep that in mind. But it's gonna hold the value for the letter with the smallest multiple, or the smallest factor for the value of the letter. Okay. Because, as you can see, this is one, this is three, this is seven, and this is 10. The point is when we iterate through this 10 times, one will arrive to 100. No, this will... is gonna be 10, this is gonna be 30, this is gonna be 70, and this is gonna be 100. So this is just used to save time later. Exactly, because then once we have 10, 30, 70, and 100, we can just move around the bytes and simply adjust them a tiny bit depending on the letter we need. That's all it is. That, like, is, that is literally all it is. <laughs> I can't believe I learned the basics of BrainFuck tonight. Yeah, there you go. Me too. <laughs> wow. So there you have it, folks. That's the yeah. first program we created in BrainFuck. 
And it's definitely not the last. Well, we didn't make it, but at least we understood it, right? <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's important. Hey, what kind of uh, program should we try to make next time? Well, uh, you, 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 oh, next time. Okay, that's fine, that's fine, that's fine, right? We're out of time, I assume, yeah. for the first uh, episode. So far, we, you know how much we recorded so far? Mm. Uh, one hour. Yeah, we didn't even use the comma yet. Use the comma. <laughs> oh, so let's, let's look at that. So we only use like seven commands. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, at least we figured out how it works. Yeah, it's great. Yeah. As always, guys, thanks for watching. If you watched... <laughs> so for those of you who can hear me, thank you. <laughs> for those of you who didn't watch... Uh, <laughs> well, I don't know what to say from that. But uh, yeah, we'll, uh, we'll try to make this into a series because it's pretty cool. And uh, yeah, thanks even for stopping by as always. Thanks for having me. <laughs> yeah. <laughs>